Thursday afternoon. You guessed it, I've just finished work. It's snowy 2.0 and I'm um, heading off for a quick camp. Found a nice little spot in the river. Gonna have another go at trout fishing. Camp tonight. And then we're gonna walk, gonna walk into a hut. It's about a 2k walk in. It looks pretty special this hut, so I'll give that a shot. Or I might even do that tonight. It just depends on what time I get in the camp, so. All right, we'll sit back. Hope you enjoy it. All right, you're coming out here. Sign says probably eight k's ahead. No through road. Well, I understand that's not true. Well, it is an O3 road, but it's probably eight k's ahead, so you can get to this camp spot that I'm going to. So don't, when you get here, be deterred and turn around. Just keep driving. Uh, well, let's hope what I've been told is right, eh? Okay, one, I'm gonna to cut to the chase. I took a wrong turn, I followed the main road on the way to Gungala River Camp and ended up at the wrong spot. So a lot of footage was filmed, but it's not required to show you because it doesn't take you to Gungala. Just go straight to the spot I found. Okay, everyone. I've uh, come down to what I thought was Gun Garland, the river camp. But I think I'm in the wrong spot because I noticed there's no drop toilet here. There's meant to be one drop toilet. So I found a spot here. It's pretty cool. It's a beautiful spot, actually. But from what I under my understanding is that the actual the hut I want to walk to is probably going to be about six or seven k's that way. And um. If anyone knows me, that's well and truly out of my walking capabilities. So, this must be an old farmer's access bridge here. It's pretty cool. It's a um, real nice spot, actually. YouTube and anyone does YouTube and films by themselves. That little detour, probably only about three k's of road, it took me about an hour and a half to drive with camera setups. And the stupid thing is, you probably won't see half of that footage. But it's just life of a YouTuber. Got a gold wing open back here. Gotta show that. Was the um the gold wing to the esky which i had my beer in obviously i was pretty thirsty um yeah i'm actually uh, running eskies at the moment Fuck. which reminds me i forgot to buy ice <laughs> i got a couple of ice blocks in there but um nothing else so i didn't buy ice i went and bought a 
new lure, a spinner from the servo at Adam Inaby, and yeah, I forgot to buy ice. Dickhead. Alright, so I'm back where I should have went straight ahead. So I turned right, so I'll turn right again. And uh, yeah, follow this down now, and we'll see where we end up. I'm hoping this is the right way. I just thought being a... I just thought it might have been a transmission tower track. It just seems to follow it down here a fair bit. Um, I really don't know, eh? I don't know if I'm lost or not. Solo traveler's nightmare. The closed gate. the rules about gates so no point probably going on about it just leave them as they were after you pass through them of course
right? It's not like you're just driving down the road a little bit and you're there and when you come out you're on a road, you can go a different direction. You're all, you're well and truly off the off the main road. Um, so yeah, in saying that it should be pretty peaceful. Just read a sign over there saying that the wild horses, which I'm taking the Brumbies, they come here a fair bit at night, won't roam through the campsite and that, so yeah. But I'm pretty impressed. Now it's gotta work out how I find this hut, which could be a bit of a mission, I reckon. So anyway, let's get this thing set up and that and um, have a quick flick. I might wait till it gets a little bit darker. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. set up. Cheers. Here's to a good night. Let's hope that rain stays away. Oh, time to get the rod out I reckon. Well, wasn't the best start to me fishing anyway. On about my eighth cast, I got me Rapala spotted dog, whatever you want to call it. Stuck on a branch, which I can't get. Um, so I changed rods, put a spinner on the next rod. About my fourth cast, there's one little branch sticking up out of the, off a tree here, and I hooked it and broke the tip of my rod off. It's like, fuck's sake. So it looks like it's uh, it's probably the end of the fishing for me. Um, fucking pissed off to tell the truth. Come always wait for a fish. And, um, yeah, not good. Anyway, um, we'll go for a bit of a walk, check this place out, I suppose. Try and work out where this hut is for the morning. Then just get on the beers. Wow, that's actually quite impressive. See, I can't really fish anymore. Might have to go for a swim tomorrow morning, maybe instead. And I'm spewing there. There's some good river up here, too. Pretty sure I can see some rises. Fuck you, Krusty. smoke this fire. Let's fucking hope this fire.
it's a crusty cook up about as good as it gets bangers tomato sauce potato salad that's living eh As shit as it looks, this is actually not a bad meal. I almost bought a steak tonight, but I found these buried deep in the fridge at the $50 shop at Aminibi. Love me bangers. If it's a cooking show you want, a channel, you're watching the wrong channel. If you want a fishing channel, you're definitely watching the wrong channel. Okay guys, well, it's probably going to be a pretty early night tonight, I reckon. Um, so I've had a bit of bad luck. I've snapped a rod, lost a, one of my good lures. Um, haven't caught any fish. Cooked up a great meal. Got to be happy with that. The sun's pretty much gone down. I'm um, starting to chill down, to tell the truth. And that's probably understandable because we are above 1,300 metres at the moment. I think we're sitting at about 1,345 metres at the elevation of this camp. So... We do get snow here, obviously, and um, yeah, not that we'll get snow at this current time, but um, yeah, you can wake up to snow here at any time during winter, so I'll go for that walk. I know it's that way. It's sort of north. I might have found a resemblance of the track there this afternoon, so I'll follow that and see how I go, so then I have to pack up and make moves. i got a couple of plans I might do, but... I think more than likely I'm just going to head straight home and get stuck back into this house. And uh, I've got to go to Melbourne and get a couple of things for the troopy as well. Um, but yeah, I'm just doing these quick trips at the moment, just trying to trying to keep the content rolling. Um, I'm going to drop a video about this probably a little bit later, um, just explaining what's going on with the channel and myself and whatever else. So anyway, look, I'm enjoying what I'm doing. Looking forward to get back up to Vic High Country soon and probably hitting some better tracks. Um, actually driving some tracks, I suppose you could say. So, anyway, look. Yeah. Just thanks for tuning in, guys, and watching. Appreciate it. See you in the morning. All right, up early, a bit of a shit sleep. Actually got really hot inside the swag last night, which I was surprised, so, yeah, it was sort of a bit uncomfortable there for a little while. Um, yeah, I'll have brekkie, just my usual, wheat bix And I'm gonna um, take off, and go for that walk up to the hut now. I think it's called Davy's Hut, for memory. Um, I'll get 11 done with pretty early. Take off, go back to band style probably most likely, and um, probably buy a new fishing rod and a couple more lures. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, knock this down, get all my gear together. Might do a quick pack up and then, um, yeah, take off for a walk.
I love it. <coughs> Just drive down here a little bit. Park up. And um, yeah, start the hike, eh? Every little bit closer helps for Krusty. I am nowhere near as fit as I used to be. Let's begin, eh? Wish me luck. Okay, well, I've just left. Just crossed the bridge there. So what they're saying, it's two Ks, or just over two Ks to get this hut. Now look, no one really knows where I am at the moment. A couple of guys at work. I haven't really told me family members or anything like that, so just said I was doing an overnighter. I don't have an EPIRB. I've got this sink little thing here. It's called a Zolo. As long as you've got satellites, it can, it can connect to satellites, you can send text messages and whatever else. Um, it's got an SOS button on it. But I won't plan on using that. I've only used this once or twice before, so hopefully I can remember how to use it before I do get in trouble. Uh, yeah, EPIRBs are good, but you might just have a little issue. Yeah, you might have sprained your ankle. Yeah, uh, you can still walk out. You might be a bit of pain, but I don't see this, the reason for setting off an EPIRB and, and getting emergency services to come out to rescue when you've just got a sprained ankle. So, yeah, I've got this Zolo. Hope it, um, if I need it, I hope it works. I got that off as from Quick As, 4x4. Four four. Um, I used to get a lot of grief a lot of years ago about just four wheel driving by myself up in the NT in the wet season, just di disappearing for three or four days on my days off from work. So, I thought, oh, best be a little bit smarter, eh? Beautiful country out here. So, um, just remember how isolated these guys were when they lived out here. Well, there she is. Davey's hut. I was lucky he's not as shit as this track. That's pretty shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Wow, what a cool hut. And got an outhouse up there. Sorry it's so dark. The light switches aren't working. A bit more light, but not enough. Got the old newspapers up on the wall. Be some history there, eh? The whole wall is just clad. That's the room I was just in. Great old hut. Absolutely love it. Couple of old pairs of boots. Bit of firewood for the campers and that, the rock up here, hike in. Good to see. Well, the point wasn't the weather I wanted to be up here in. I suppose this is a high country. At about 1,370 metres up here. So this is a sort of the climate you expect up here and it's, it's actually getting a bit cold. Wish I had packed a jumper. So I was gonna go swimming, because obviously I was pretty fucking shit at fishing. But um, I think it's a little bit cold at the moment. I'm not sure what the temperature would be, but it's chilly.
heard the stories about the city line and the crazy nights. Figure I should probably give it a try. Maybe check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's pregnant. Paycheck, rat race, what's next? I'm tired of feeling like a small fish in a big pond. I think I'll go back where I came from. Where everybody knows. All right, just on my way out from Gungarlan River Camp, just met a couple of crew who are heading in there, a couple of young guys and their dads and that, um, a couple of days fishing, um, they reckon the fucking trout are going off in there, they reckon, so a bit of a let down, but anyway, um, I really enjoyed the hut, Davy's hut was nice, it's a beautiful spot to camp, would I re recommend it? I definitely would. Um, would I go there again? I would, but I'd probably go for two days and make sure I got enough fishing rods. So if I break them, I've got enough to keep fishing. It's a little bit out of the way. I said it's a it's a dead end road. You can't go any further once you get to the the Gungarland, the bridge there that crosses the river. Um, that used to go to Island Bend, which is sort of over near Jindabyne, I think. Uh, I haven't looked at the maps to double check that, but it's meant to be a beautiful spot as well. Um, yeah, so if you're into your trout fishing and don't mind hiking and do a bit of walking and that, uh, I, I definitely recommend going and checking out Gungarland River Camp. And even the other one, to the right, when you get to the power lines, it looks like a pretty nice little spot too. Alright, well that's me. Um, done and dusted. Heading home. Start uh, renovating again. Yeah, what a life, eh? Alright, love is all, thanks for watching, tuning in, give us a like, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel if you want. Alright, later.